In this Python tutorial, we will create a web application with a number input object using the streamlit library. After values are entered into number input objects, mathematical operations are performed according to the buttons clicked. In the video, I will show step by step how to make a web application. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video to support us. First, Let's activate the web server. I open terminal. I open the command prompt. I go to Venn file. You can activate the web server using this code. The web server is currently running. I will add the number input object. I create a variable for the object. The parameter sent to the number input function represents the title of the object. I save the code file and refresh the page. I added the first number input object to the web page. Let's add the second number input object. I am creating a variable. I determine the title of the object. I save the code file and refresh the page. I added the second input object to the web page. Now I will add buttons to perform mathematical operations. I will add the buttons side by side. I can do this using the columns function. I will add four buttons. With with an index, I can place the buttons in appropriate places. I create a variable for the first button. The parameter sent to the button function represents the title of the button. I save the code file and refresh the page. The first button object has been added to the web page. I will add the second button object to the web page. I can use the same method. I change the name of the button variable. I am changing the button title. I save the code file and refresh the page. The second button object has been added to the web page. I will add the third and fourth buttons. I save the code file and refresh the page. I save the code file and refresh the page. All buttons have been added to the web page. Now we will perform mathematical operations based on the buttons clicked. If the addition button is clicked, I will perform addition using the right function. I save the code file and refresh the page. I enter values into number input objects. When you click on the button, the collection is done. I edit the if query for subtraction. I save the code file and refresh the page. I enter values into number input objects. When you click on the button, the extraction process is performed. I organize if queries for other buttons. I save the code file and refresh the page. I enter values into number input objects. It works as I want with four buttons. In this video, we learned how to use number input objects. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video to support us.